Hey folks, Matt from Art of the Image.com. We just discussed a successor to the D610. We decided to call it the Nikon D650. At least I did anyways. My reasoning for that, as I said, was the 810 went to the 850. I just see it as that's what Nikon's going to do. The 610 will become the 650. I spec'd it out with a um, 36 megapixel sensor. I said, let's use the one from the 810, 4K, ideally with no crop for video, very angle touchscreen LCD with some improvements to the touchscreen to bring it on par with the quality we're seeing from Canon Panasonic. I want a better app from Nikon, more fluid-like, the more power to it, like the Panasonic app, like the Canon app. And we should see a better autofocus system either from the 810 or the 750s inherited into the 650 since the 850 already has a more advanced one and that's no threat to to bump it down the line. I also suggested we throw in focus peaking. I suggested GPS, uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and USB 3. I would expect to see all of those in there. So we've discussed that. Um, that's what I'd like to see. I think it would be a good selling DSLR. But it begs the question, will Nikon come out with this? How many more DSLRs are we going to see Nikon and even Canon and, and the rest of the manufacturers continue to make. We know Canon is focusing on a professional full-frame uh, DSLR, or a mirrorless, I should say. We know Nikon's working on a professional full-frame mirrorless and on their mirrorless lineup. Do we still expect to see refreshes in the standard DSLR lineup, especially in the, in the, in the um, full-frame? In other words, is it possible that the 650 is going to come out as an M650? Will we not get a 650 DSLR? Do you think, I mean, I'd be, I think I would be plenty happy with an M650. Those specs, an eight, the 810 36 uh, megapixel sensor, 4K, touchscreen, better app, the, a competitor to dual pixel autofocus, which is Nikon's biggest issue right now that they need to address their Achilles heel at the moment. And that could perhaps be done better could be addressed more effectively with a mirrorless camera. We'd also have a faster shooting camera. Almost guaranteed you could have a 10 frames per second, no problem. I mean, the M50 APS-C from Canon's 10 frames per second. You go mirrorless, you get the speed boost there. So I think it's possible we might not see a 650 DSLR, a D650. Maybe we'll see an M650. So it begs the question, do you think that's likely? Or do you think that we will still get a DSLR and a mirrorless for now in that level of camera and in future other levels of cameras? Would you be happy with an M650 with these specs and not, and we, and we never did see a D650 that they concentrate now on mirrorless, acknowledging mirrorless is the way of the future and really limiting or eliminating their DSLR lineup. Bear in mind, we could, we could do what Canon's done here. We could, it, it'll be very easy for Nikon, I think, and they, they better engineer it this way, to have uh, an adapter to use Nikon existing lens catalog, the existing lenses, with their mirrorless lineup with an adapter, just like the EOS M adapter on the Canons. So you really wouldn't be losing a thing. You could still take advantage of the um, full lens lineup with no loss of, of offerings there as they flush out the new lens lineup, if it's going to be a new mount, which I suspect it will. It seems to be what most people think. Um, but how would you feel about that? No D650. We're going to get an M650. Would you miss it? Do you think they should still have both out for a while until the full adjustment takes place? Or do you think they should just dive right in, head first, both feet in, um, and be and go mirrorless now? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Um, you know, how do you feel about that? Would you like to see an M650 and don't care if you get a D650? Do you still want a D650? Do you think it could be a marketing problem or it could be a sales and marketing problem if they don't have both? Let's discuss how this would work. What's going to happen now that we're going to see some mirrorless coming out, hopefully this year, from Nikon? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Interested to hear your thoughts as always. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.